thank you, Mayor and Council Members. My name is Leonard Clark. Um, as you all know, we have a Chief Magistrate right now who's above the law. We have a King operating. You, I, I violate a subpoena, I go to jail. Um, we have Handmaid's Tale going on in Alabama where if a woman is raped or if her fetus, which people don't want to understand, is, does not have a head or a torso, you are going to sentence them to 20 to 99 years. I say old white men and myself, we don't know what it's like to be a woman who is raped. And now, and now in Alabama, if a, a woman is raped, she could potentially face 99 years. Quite frankly, I'm sick of the American Taliban. I saw this in Iraq. This goes on in Afghanistan. ISIL hates women. They look at Malala. They shot her in the head. Girls aren't allowed to go to school. We have no business. You have your religious views, fine. Have your religious views. But this is the United States of America. We are not a theocracy yet, although you are trying very hard, conservatives. We are not going to be handmaid's tell without a fight. We have a constitution, whether you like it or not. And you are not somebody who might have a child, a fetus, who has no head and no lungs, and you're telling them they're going to go to jail, they're murderers? How dare you? And you use your children as props? We don't bring our children in here and use them as props. We are not handmaid's tell. It is prophecy coming true. Look at Alabama. We are not going to take this sitting down. We are not murderers. We stand up for humanity. If you don't like it, go to a theocracy. Go to Afghanistan, We're, okay? But we have a constitution. Women have rights. Thank you. I was actually going to speak on something boring like property rights today, but now that there's so much excitement in the room, I thought we could talk about a different kind of property, and that is that of a human being. Um, we heard charges of theocracy and what about rape? What about rape? Well, I'll tell you about rape. Just because your dad is a bad guy doesn't mean that your child needs to be killed. What about, what about parents who abuse their children? They're bad people. Should we murder that child too? It's silly. And I, I disagree with a lot of the Alabama law. The main thing being prison. I don't think anybody should get prison time for having abortion. I think they should get the death penalty. It's not, we shouldn't spend taxpayer dollars on that sort of thing. And then this idea about, uh, about it being a theocracy, I just want to say that every source of law in a nation is a theocracy. The highest standard you use to determine what is law is what your God is. So in our nation, the Supreme Court is our God. They are the ones that determine what is right and what is wrong, what laws you can make and what laws you can't. I believe that the final source of all authority should be God's word. That is the determining factor of right and wrong. An atheist has no standard for law. According to an atheistic worldview, we're just blobs of cells spinning around in a purposeless universe, rape is nothing more than atoms bumping into each other. It has no moral consequence whatsoever. Women can't be against rape if there is no absolute authority that determines what is right and what is wrong. But we can be against murder. We can be against abortion because the Bible gives us a clear standard of morality. In the atheistic worldview, how can you say with absolute object authority that Hitler was wrong. He was the law. He was the government. If the government determines what is right and wrong, and that's your highest point for morality, you can't say that what Hitler did was wrong. But if God is the objective standard for all men in all places, in everywhere, in all of time, then God is the objective standard. And what Alabama is doing is right, and it is moral, and it is just, and everybody here knows it. Because everybody here is created in the image of God, and they will stand before God on Judgment Day with a knowledge of right from wrong. The Bible says that you're suppressing the truth in unrighteousness. And so that is why we come out here every single day, and we talk about abortion while Teresa Williams looks at her phone and ignores us. Uh, we, I got you on camera looking at your phone while children are talking to you. It's disrespectful, and uh, it's disgusting, and your voters should know about it. Um, thank you.